Since 2002, the museum has supported students on ice expeditions. So some of our scientists have gone on these expeditions and these northern journeys with students in the past to share their experience on these ecosystems. And we're delighted to have one of our scientists, Dr. Lynn Gillespie, joining you this year again. My name is Lynn Gillespie and I'm a botanist with the Canadian Museum of Nature. A research scientist, I do work on uh, plants, mostly plants from the Arctic. One of the projects that uh, I'm working on with other colleagues at the Canadian Museum of Nature is um, a, a new flora of the Arctic. And that flora is really important because it tells us what we have in the Arctic now. Um, and we, we need to really know, understand, know what plants we have right now, where they're distributed, and then we can start monitoring and find out how the plants actually change with climate change. As the climate gets warmer in the Arctic, new plants from further south will start moving in to the Arctic. And they could really change the landscape. This can have a huge impact on um, animals that feed on the plants, the animals that feed on those animals, and of course, um, ultimately humans. This is something that we are looking into at the museum. The Students on Ice Expeditions is a, is a wonderful opportunity to try and um, impart knowledge to, to the younger generation, and it's a, it's a real delight to be able to do that. This is my third expedition. I was on the very first two to the Arctic, and absolutely wonderful. Um, and it's, it's just a, a real joy to share my, my enthusiasm, I guess, about uh, the Arctic plants. Well, let's have a little closer look at this. But this one doesn't have grass leaves, though. Well, I think the students are really curious, and so it isn't really that hard to get them drawn lying on the ground with their noses almost touching the ground, looking at the lichens and the plants. It's, um, it's, it's fun and, they, and they, once they're drawn there, they often stay there and they look and they look and they really discover. There's one girl in particular who um, perhaps um, she's maybe even thinking of going on to be a uh, botanist. And also just walking around on the land. Each plant has a certain different habitat. This plant, for instance, the Arctic heather, which grows just here, that's, that's indicative of snow banks. And so they'd be walking along and they'd, they'd start to understand the landscape, which is great. The museum's mission is to increase in throughout Canada and internationally interest in knowledge of, respect and appreciation for the natural world. And in practical terms, that means research, collections, and public education. And specifically, the museum is, is very interested in education of youth, and that, of course, is one of the missions of Students on Ice.